Okay, here we're going to find the equations for the uh, hyperbola's asymptotes, and we're going to write these in point-slope form. So we have the hyperbola x plus 16 quantity squared over 100 minus uh, y, the quantity y minus 9 squared over 400 equals 1. So this is to me just kind of writing things in a proper form and just knowing some, some corresponding formulas. So kind of the formulas that, that we're going to use, we're going to write our, uh, the hyperbola in the form x minus h quantity squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And the idea is, once we write it in this form, this standard form, it says the asymptotes, it says the asymptotes are going to be of the form y minus k equals positive and negative b over a times x minus h. Okay, so again, what I need to do is I need to figure out a value for k, I need to figure out a value for b, I need to figure out a value for a, and I need to figure out a value for h. All right, well, let's do that. Okay, so I can rewrite this. So it says we're going to write it as x minus something. So x minus, well, we want it to be equivalent to x plus 16, so we can write it as x minus negative 16, well, squared. I want to write the denominator as some number squared. Well, I want that number to equal 100. Well, what number squared is uh, going to be 100? And you could say, well, hey, it could be negative 10, but we always let our a and b values be positive. So we're going to use positive 10 squared. And then we've got, well, we've got y minus 9. We can leave that part alone. This is all over 400. Again, I want to write that as a number squared, a positive number being squared. Well, we can write 400 as 20 squared. So now I've got all my values, okay? It says this is going to be our value for h. h is going to equal negative 16. It says 10 is going to be our a value. It says positive 9, again, we, we, we uh, kind of forget about the... Uh, the negative, so we could write this as y minus 9. Okay, so that's going to be our k value, and then uh, 20 is going to be our b value. So I'm just going to fill that in, and we'll have our asymptotes. So it says our asymptotes will be y minus k, which is 9, equals positive or negative b over a. So again, we said b had value 20 a was equal to 10. Then we do x minus the h value. So the h value is negative 16. And of course, we could simplify this down just a little bit. But now we've done everything. So it's just kind of, again, just writing things in the proper form and just knowing formulas. Um, so 20 over 10 is going to be 2. x minus negative 16 will be x plus 16, and now we have, uh, we have our asymptotes.